Take you to a press conference where the police chief of D.C. Police Chief Kathy Lanier is also there with the mayor, Muriel Bowser. They're expected to address a woman who was shot and killed on Good Hope Road in Southeast last night. Also, there were a number of shootings today as well. Let's listen in. Just waiting on one. Words, as you can tell, we're just now waiting for them to get this press conference started. But as we were saying, there was a shooting of a woman last night on Good Hope Good Road, evening, but also a number of armed robbers and, today uh, and a road rage shooting as well. Let's listen. Uh, we invited you here to this Deanwood location to ask you uh, to help us spread the word as we ask for the public's help and information in leading to the killer of Sharnice. Milton of the District of Columbia. Uh, we happen to be in Deanwood today because uh, the mayor's office is kicking off uh, one of our summer of safety walks and we're walking around the Deanwood community. Unfortunately, last night in the 2700 block of Good Hope Road, one of our, our residents uh, was gunned down. Sharnice Milton uh, was a very active uh, resident in the District of Columbia, a reporter. Uh, she lived east of the river and she concentrated on issues um, focused east of the river. And we're asking for the public if they were in or around the 2700 block of Good Hope road to immediately call the police with any information uh, that may lead to the capture of the killer of Sharnice Milton. Uh, the chief of police is here who will pro provide some additional details about this shooting in the investigation to this point. Um, and she's also joined by the detective that is leading the investigation um, into this homicide. So it's very frustrating for police uh, whenever uh, we lose uh, lose a life, and we work really hard to make sure that people are safe. But nothing is more frustrating for us uh, than a case like this. Two things about this case: one is uh, Sharice is just a wonderful human being that was doing last night what she did every day. She was combined a love of her work with her love for her community and the betterment of the, the residents that, that lived uh, east of the river uh, in, in her family. So she was on her way home doing, again, what she did every single day. She was so thoughtful. She would always let her mom know she's on the way home so she wouldn't worry. She had to transfer buses uh, on Good Hope Road. She got off one bus and was walking to the other bus. And unfortunately, Charnice, in the wrong place at the wrong time, uh, a person who uh, Chanel will talk about a little bit when she gets up here, Detective Howard, um, who was trying to uh, shoot at a different person, strikes uh, Charnice. So wrong place, wrong time, certainly not the intended victim, not that any victim uh, is a right victim, but here is a woman who's dedicated her life to her community, her family, her church, and the second most frustrating thing about this is I know there's people out there. I know there were people out there on the street that saw things that they could share with us. If you're scared, if you want to remain anonymous, then remain anonymous. But we have means for you to do that. But we need closure in this case for this girl, for this family, for this community. There's just really uh, no reason why if you have information you can't share it with us. If you want to do it anonymously, you can Call us on 202-727-9099 and say you want to remain anonymous. You can text tip us, 50411. You're anonymous. We, we, don't, we don't need a name. Give us as much detail as you have, but help us get to the person that would be so reckless as to take uh, this young woman's life and the manner in which it was taken. Uh, nothing is more important for this community, I think, for us to say that this kind of random violence just cannot continue. We have to we have to put an end to it. And that's gonna take everybody in the community. So anybody who was out there last night, I'm gonna ask Detective Howard to give you very specific time, location, and information that we have already about uh, a person that, that we're looking for. Um, but please, 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 if you have anything at all, please share it with us so we can bring some peace to this family and to this community. Detective Howard. Good afternoon. 
On May 27th, 2015, at about 2140 hours, Ms. Sharnice Milton was shot and killed in a 2700 block of Good, Ro Good Hope Road Southeast. My office and myself seek the assistance of the community and any information you may have, would you please call the office, no matter how small or insignificant you think it may be, you can call us and provide that information and, uh, and assist in this investigation. Uh, thank you greatly. You thank you. The yes, ma'am. We have information that there is a, a suspect, uh, a, a black male, late teens, dark complected, uh, long dreads, last seen riding a dirt bike or a moped of some type, fleeing the scene. All right, there you go. We've been listening to uh, the D Detective Howard is working on this case of Sharnice Milton, who was shot and gunned down last night at the 2700 block of Good Hope Road around 9.40 p.m. They're asking for the public's help in locating a specific su suspect in this case. Right. This young woman, well-known in the Deanwood neighborhood. She was a reporter there. Uh, the chief saying she dedicated her life to her community, to her family. Uh, and they say she was changing buses, something she did routinely, and that she was not the intended target, and that this bullet was intended for someone else and she was caught in the crossfire and now they have a vague suspect description a young black male on a dirt bike or moped a uh, young man with dreads and long dreads long dreads late teens long dreads on a dirt bike leaving that scene around good hope road 2700 block around 9 40 p.m last night Chief Lanier saying she knows somebody out there saw something. If you did, she says you can be, remain anonymous, but they need to hear from you immediately. Okay.